Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. A big round of applause to Kill Bill. Phenomenal. Uh, thank you for joining us tonight for Forward, a fundraiser virtual for George for Mayor. Uh, as every event for Team George starts, um, we open with a land acknowledgement that recognizes that we are currently on Denina Athabascan land. 
whose stewardship once and always remains, even today. Um, so for all of you joining us, obviously I'm not in the same place where everyone else is. So to let you all know how we're doing this safely, uh, virtually. I woke up a little congested. It was supposed to be just a few of us at Perfectionist Auto Sound. He's got a big shop so we can spread out and I woke up a little congested and uh, to tell you a reflection of who George is, the first thing he said to me, um, you know, was, well, what are you comfortable with? And to me, that was a big reflection of who George is as a leader. You know, he just wants me to be at my best. And I said, let me um, remove myself from that space so that I'm not getting anyone else sick. Um, and so I am here at my home. We've got uh, our amazing MC Don Mega joining George and Clara at Perfectionist Auto Sound. Um, a big thank you to John Schwartz who will be joining us in a few minutes for allowing us into that space. Um, and so we just wanted to let everyone from home know that we are spread out, we are safe, we are we are doing everything we can and we hope you are as well. Uh, so tonight is a fundraiser, which means we want you to have fun. There's many wonderful performances coming up. And so we hope you stay till the end and catch some of the surprise guests that we have in store. Um, it's also a fundraiser. So we'll let you know there's a couple different ways to donate and participate tonight. Um, one of them is the website that we have, which we'll put up uh, at the bottom. Uh, and you can go click on there and donate. You can volunteer. You can also host various events like these. Um, and then you can also call in tonight. So give us a ring for your donations. Um, we wanted to start, um, and I am honored to be introducing this next person with a blessing from Reverend Alonzo Patterson. So we'll shoot it over to uh, the Reverend. Welcome. Thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you. I assume at this point I'm um, to uh, share some things with you. I, I, um, I'm glad to be on and have been introduced. If I'm not, I'm talking to myself. Otherwise, uh, always have the Lord with me. So I'd ask you to uh, let's ask the Lord to come in and be a part of this venture, which is designed to bring about equity in all of our society and to give George success in his honest effort to um, knock his brick out of the wall of resistance for totality of our community. Father, we're grateful for the opportunity that equity comes even in your time frame. That we ask you to look on this young man who is making his pursuit to lead your people of all races, colors, creeds into a brighter sunshine of intermingling of society. I ask for success in his gift to the Anchorage and yea, even to the Alaska area. And you have said in your word, we have not because we ask not. Today we are asking that you give us favor, not to the chagrin of others, but to the enabling of others to see the totality of your creation. I pray him success according to your will, and I pray him victory according to his challenges. In the name of our Christ, I pray, amen. I'm so grateful. Uh, George, I promised that I would be there to support you and to see young men such as yourself reaching out and sending or breaking through that barrier. For if you are quiet too long, people will assume that you have nothing to say, then you become of none effect or none emphasis on the part of growth in your generation. Our generation needs to speak up and say that let us not become stagnant or jaded to the end that people believe we don't have nothing to say, therefore we don't say anything. We have a lot to say and we'll take our place in line and make our statement and uh, we will suffer the consequences or reap the victories as time goes on. Finally, I will say to you, uh, the Bible also says the race is not given to the swift nor to the strong, but time and chance happens to us all. George, this is your time and your chance and I want you to know that I stand with you in the effort, uh, not to the demise of others, but to the success of our generation and all of the groups that are in the Anchorage and Alaska area, people of all color and creed, I stand to support you. May God bless you. Thank you, Reverend Patterson. Beautiful. 
Thank you so much, Reverend Patterson, for joining us tonight. Appreciate you. Well, I also have the honor of uh, introducing our host with the most, John Schwartz. Uh, he, as we know, entrepreneurs, especially us local business people, are busy and uh, you know facing all these different challenges that pop up day to day. So even though John couldn't be at the shop with us, he is joining us virtually. And I wanted to give him a few minutes because he has been um, a beautiful supporter. And let's talk a little bit about what are your hopes for Anchorage and, and what is your vision for our city moving forward? Hey, what's up, everybody? Sorry, I'm not there. Yeah, I had uh, some other things I uh, kind of double committed myself to. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I think that uh, I really believe in Anchorage. And when I talk with George and listen to things that he says, I feel like we're definitely on the same mindset. You know, I feel like Anchorage is definitely a very entrepreneurial city. Um, a lot of things happen, you know, like I said in the last one, you know, our brand CompuStar that started in Anchorage and now we're the largest security brand in uh, North America. And, uh, you know, it all started out of Anchorage. Um, also, Perfectionist Auto Sound is, uh, you know, a, a globally known brand now and also being from Anchorage. And I just think that, you know, us as, uh, as people in the community, we, we work together, we stick together, we support each other. And uh, that's how we're going to get ahead of these things and get the economy back to normal. And, um, you know, I feel like a lot of these uh, other companies that are starting out, Anchorage is such a great place for that. And if we can kind of things that me and George talked about earlier with the business lab idea was to, you know, get the youth involved and use different parts of our businesses as hubs to help educate and train these guys to become part of the workforce, you know? So a lot of the stuff, especially missing school, they're, they don't get to be a part of these things. And um, anyway, so I just, I feel like that's a great uh, direction for Anchorage. So if we can, you know, we're, we're at a, a big, small city and I feel like if we come together it's easy for us to uh, move forward and anchorage forward like we've been talking about by getting back to entrepreneur entrepreneurship you know um, yeah so I, I feel like you know perfectionist is uh, this is my 21st year there and I've definitely learned a lot of lessons with it started a, you know a couple other companies and everything that I've had grown out of Alaska and uh, so, yeah, I want to be part of that. I want to help people. I love George's direction with that. I feel like we're all on the same page of pushing this forward. So, yeah, that's where I'm at. Thank you, John. I always appreciate your vision and your uh, advice. And I turn to you for a lot of things as a small business person as well. Um, so thank you for joining us and taking the time. I know you're busy, so we'll let you go. But hopefully you can catch a few of the performances and enjoy it a little bit later. No, my pleasure. I'm happy to be part of it. And anytime I can help out, you know, I'm there for you guys. And I know that's true. I know that's true. Uh, for those of you who don't know, John uh, did 1,400 face shields at the beginning of this pandemic for frontline workers. Um, I mean, he was there all hours of the night, tirelessly doing things to, uh, you know, protect our, our front line. And so we as a community are ever thankful um, to you. So I get, I just keep getting to do all the honors of introducing all these amazing people. And, uh, you know, now it's time for the man of the hour, uh, George Martinez running for mayor. Uh, I'll give you a few minutes. Tell us a little bit about where hey, you're hey. at, what's going on. Well, first of all, Jen, thank, thank you uh, so much. And I just want to thank uh, everyone for joining us tonight and for being here. Uh, as you know, we opened with our land acknowledgement. We also opened with a blessing. We believe that when we come together, I believe that when we come together, that's where we have the greatest opportunity to make a difference in our community and our individual lives. So I just want to first, I'm humbled and appreciative of everyone coming together to push Anchorage forward with us tonight. Um, and I'm here with my wife and I'm here with Don and we're focused on resetting, rebuilding, and rebounding Anchorage forward. And it's all about rolling sleeves up and getting things done. Tonight, we're going to have a good time, demonstrate the diversity of talent, of ideas, of leadership in our city, and, and why right now is the opportunity for a transformative moment to move Anchorage forward by working and coming together. So I'm thrilled to be here. I'm thrilled for all of the support and I look forward to a great night. And, uh, and, and so I wanna make sure my phone number was given. He said, people call in. My phone number is out there. It's 
406-8907. If you want to call in a donation, if you want to make a donation on the face on the on the website, it's also we scrolled it on the bottom, George 2021. But feel free to give a call, make a pledge. Uh, Clara, my wife is answering the phones. I'm looking forward to coming back on later and talking. And we have just great people today. I want to thank uh, Reverend Patterson and and so many other people by the end of the show. Uh, let me get out of the way and keep it moving because we got a lot of fun to have and a lot of people to hear from. Yeah, absolutely. And and my final honor, and then I'm out of here because you've seen enough of me, uh, I'm going to turn things over to our MC, the always amazing Don Mega, uh, who's over with George and Clara. Let's see if we can pop up. There he is. There's Don. He's going to carry us. Uh, How you guys doing? And uh, I'll turn it over to you, Don. I don't know if y'all, can you guys hear me? Okay. Is that okay? Okay, good. Uh, how you guys doing? My name's Don Mega. I am uh, broadcasting live from uh, the Lush Plush studio base, if you will, of our perfectionist auto sound and security. And uh, this is a virtual red carpet, if you will, for my very good friend, George Martinez. You know, he's running for mayor 2021. Uh, I think a couple of times I might have said 2020 because he's been he's been grinding for so long. And uh, yeah, tonight we're going to help raise some funds to get this brother where he needs to be. And so he can do the things that he needs to do for you and myself. Now, with this, that being said, this being a virtual red carpet, uh, I just want to remind you guys how to donate. Uh, that is the first thing that you need to know. You can always call Mr. Martinez, the Honorable George. Uh, you can hit him up at 406 uh, 890, uh, 8907. A little louder. Thank you, brother. But you can donate to him straight to him. You can call him so you know the money's not going anywhere. 907 is the area code 406 8907. Uh, you can also go to George2021 for the website information. There's links there uh, that can get you hooked up. And uh, make you a part of this wonderful affair. Now, we've got folks that are already donating. Uh, I've got a list. And Claire, did, did you give me that list? Can you send that over for me real quick? I've got a list that I'm going to start calling out here real, real fast. Make sure we got it. All right. All right. Uh, and this is the uh, some of our max donors tonight. Okay. Thank you, Claire. All right. Uh, Kayleen. Kayleen, Kayleen Nuridin. I hope I'm saying that right. Kayleen Nuridin or Kayleen Nuridin. Uh, thank you. Uh, she's a very close friend of uh, our good friend, Mr. Ed Wesley. Been knowing him for over 40 years, and she has made a uh, wonderful donation tonight of uh, $500. So thank you so very, very, very much as we're calling out on the uh, red carpet scroll, if you will, because there's no rolling by. OK, if you're scrolling, just keep on staying right here because we're going to be here broadcasting live trying to raise these funds. We've got a couple of more check ins for you. Uh, number two. Oh, Sylvester Hubert. And I hope I'm saying this right. Uh, Sylvester Jobert. Uh, he is the owner of uh, Midnight Sun Car and Van Rental. Midnight Sun car and van rental thank you so much sylvester for your very gracious donation to george 2021 the campaign that we're all um here hanging out tonight uh and some of most of you guys hanging out virtually uh around the world uh we really appreciate you again the number to call you can call and donate the number is 907-406-8907 uh, one more real, 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 real fast. We've got a few of these guys here. Thank you guys so much for being those mass max donors tonight. Uh, George, George Harrison. Thank you, sir. Owner of Harrison construction, Harrison construction. We appreciate you guys for being a part of tonight's donation list. George 2021 for mayor. Uh, of course, as you can see in the background, george2021.com is where you can go and uh, make your donations there if you're not going to be able to call or if you could do like these people did. Uh, but thank you so much. Curtis Harris from uh, the, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, Curtis Harris, past grandmaster of Prince Hall Grand Lodge. So we got Curtis Harris and then we've got George Harrison. 
Okay, so I might have mixed those two up. So those are two more. Thank you. Thank you very much. Those are two more donations of five hundred dollars that are coming in. Now, that is so awesome. Uh, Curtis Harris, he's uh, one of the past grandmasters of the Prince Hall Grand Lodge here in Alaska. Thank you, sir. Uh, also, thank you to George Harrison. Let me make sure I get that right. Owner of Harrison Construction. Uh, they uh, built homes in Anchorage. They've been building homes in Anchorage since the 80s, 1980. So thank you so much for being just uh, one of the four. Actually, oh, we've got one more coming in. We've got one more coming. Should, should, should I hold it? You should, oh, Okay. Uh, I, they keep coming. Okay. But the moral to the story is, is to uh, make sure that you donate as soon as possible. George 2021, you see it down there at the bottom of the uh, screen, george2021.com. And uh, yeah, this is the virtual red carpet. Thanks so much for having me. Don Mega here. I think we're ready to throw it back to a little entertainment. That was fast and furious. Uh, kind of like my good friend that's about to come up and uh, knock your socks off as you're probably huddled up in front of your fireplace on a very cold winter's evening here at the George 2021 studios for the virtual gala. I give him to you again, ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Mr. Kill Bill Sachs. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. Hey, what's up, Don, Mega? Thanks so much for that very warm intro. And George Martinez, thank you so much for letting me be a part of this amazing event. I'm gonna get out of your way. Let's get some music going. Thanks for hanging out with me, everybody.
All right. Thank you, Kill Bill. What a great performance. Uh, what a good time we're having. And uh, we're going to keep things moving. Uh, let me bring Don back in as soon as he comes into the, uh, to the mix. What a good time to be with everybody. You know, uh, Kill Bill is one of those artists that plays out and, and, and brings his energy and his love to the city. And, and, and that's part of the power that we have for tonight. And uh, we want to thank you all for your comments. Keep coming in. We updated the phone number on the uh, on the page. It's 907-406-8907. And then also, obviously, the scroller on the bottom. Uh, but uh, Don, what did, what did you say before? Uh, oh, what I wanted to you say. Yeah. Because the other studio, let me make sure I'm a few feet away. Uh, but I, what I wanted to say before was uh, that if you want to uh, make a donation and you do it while the artists are performing, mm. we consider that a tip for the artists. But that tip uh, is going to go That's towards right. the campaign fund. And uh, uh, Brother George has graciously agreed, of course, to match the donations right. up to a certain amount because we're trying to raise these funds for our cause. So don't forget to tip, tip, tip all of the performers and donate as much as you possibly can. Again, uh, we're going to be checking in with uh, some more of the uh, power players tonight. Uh, but I want to say thank you to everybody that's already joined us. That's right. And uh, let me let George go. And for, those, and for those first donations that came in. Thank you for those first donations. That's how we opened the door and that's how we've moved this. But to Don's point, a lot of the artists are part of the hospitality industry. They've been on the front line. They've been unemployed and they've been uh, that, uh, hurt this year. So we have a few different artists to come in and your donations during the time of a performance, I'll match it up to 250. So let's let's make sure we get these donations in. Let's make sure we also donate while the artist and then we'll consider that a tip and we'll support not only the campaign tonight, but some of our, our community's working artists. How does that sound, Don? I like where you're going with this. Sir. Solid. Well, let's, let's bring on a couple of community folks as we get the other side signed up. And uh, we have a few community leaders to come on. I got a powerful uh, group of, of wonderful uh, leaders of our city. We're going to start off by bringing Margot Bellamy um, on into the stream to join me. Hello, Margot. It's your time. Hey, Thanks George. For us. <laughs> Thank you for giving me a, a, a chance to kind of spruce up a little bit. I have not had on lipstick. <laughs> or a fancy dress since March. So right thank on. you for that. And I, I, I really do appreciate. Um, uh, I mean, this is wonderful. I mean, the things we can do when we, uh, when we are challenged. But George, I just want to say a few words as a citizen. Um, you know, I believe you bring um, a, 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 a wonderful spirit and. Uh, sense of community um, to to our city, and I think that uh, for me, you are my choice for mayor. And um, you know, you are it, during the time I have known you, while I am like fifty years older than you, <laughs> you have been nothing but uh, professional, respectful. Uh, you you really you really reach out for kids. Your heart is as big as uh, our state, uh, but your vision, I share your vision. Your vision is to unite this city and to empower every one of us citizens to thrive and be all that we can be. And you, most importantly for me, you understand the greatness in our kids and you make room for them no matter what you're, what you're doing you always come back to kids. So yes, quality education for all, thriving economy for all of us, and a community that takes care of every one of its citizens in every way. So I appreciate you, I applaud you, thank you. And yes, dig deep people, we have got to put some money out there on the table. Um, I'm gonna donate again today I, I, if I'm over, then I'll, I'll have to figure that out later. But uh, <laughs> dig deep and donate. And good to see you, Kill Bill. You know I love you too. You too, Don. Thank you, George. Thank you, Margo. And remember, when everybody leaves the stream, they, you can watch and continue to watch on Facebook uh, as you join the stream. Um, Margo means so much to our community, and it means so much to me to have her support on um, uh, another uh, one of my other um, supporters to come on. We're going to see if we get them on in the back end. Uh, but right now, I'd like to bring uh, Sheila Selcraig 
uh, forward. And uh, good evening, Sheila. Hi, George. Nice to be here. Nice to be right behind Margot. It's great. Good group. And I love the jazz. I loved it. We should do that all the time. We should, all the time. Thank you for being with us. And it's your floor now. Well, um, I'm here to say that I believe that I am more excited about George running for office than anybody I can think of for a long time. Um, the first time I spoke to George, I was just impressed. Uh, I, and then as I got to know him, I was really glad that he decided to run for mayor. And I've had a series of conversations over the summer with him where he'll call me up at the, at the afternoon, I'm out hiking or in, in the evening. And he says, Sheila, and he asks me a question. And my background is in building community. I'm a planner and I've had a lot of education in it and I have a lot of work in it. And I've worked with a lot of elected officials. And I don't think I've ever had an elective official ask me the kinds of questions that George has asked. And George basically would say, okay, if, if I wanted to do this in this part of town, how would how would that happen? Or if the community wanted to make this happen, how would we go about it, about doing it? And it wasn't just like a two minute conversation. It, it was a conversation where I would say something and he would ask a question. And by the end of it, he was thinking about what I was telling him and he had already bloomed it into something else. Um, I think he really has the capacity to lead us in the future. And the other thing is, is he's completely committed to engaging all of this community. And for a long time, I think we've all known that this community, our leaders don't really represent the diversity of our community. And it's just at the heart of what George wants to do. He understands that if diversity is our strength and that there's all these opportunities commercially and, and culturally and community wide that we can enjoy by understanding the richness of the people we have here and the wonderful depth of insights that we have that we can gain from them. And also, um, you know, he, he he also understands something that has to do with, you know, how do you get people to do things together? And I'm really happy he's running as a nonpartisan. I think he knows that the city has to have people who actually agree on things to make things happen. And that I think he will truly believe, I mean, truly be able to bring people together around common goals. And that's the only way we can get things done. A lot doesn't get done, not because we don't want it to happen, but because we don't want the other side to win in this town. And it's time for us to be one people. And I think George really has the capacity to bring us together and move us forward. I'm really excited about him. You go, George. Sheila, uh, the, the, when you take my calls, you know how, mo how important it is to me, and uh, and 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 you're right, and 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 I thank you for putting up with and and for responding to those calls. Your time has been incredibly valuable to me. Your guidance is valuable, and uh, and and I look forward to continuing to work with you. Thank you. Well, it's my pleasure. Excellent. And uh, let me now. I'm going to move this over here. And uh, we have uh, uh, one of my other, uh, we're going to keep this rolling going through with some really great people at our opening lineup. And so uh, my sister Elizabeth Medicine Crow Leguine is coming on to this, this scene here all the way from Cake. Is that correct? That's right. I'm here at home in my village down here in Southeast. Can you hear me okay? We can hear you just fine. Uh, thank you for being oh, with me and thank you for the continued family relationship that we have and all of the work that we're able to do together. It's your time. Yeah. Yeah. Goodness, Chish, for inviting me to be part of this, uh, brother, because I really am excited that you threw your hat in to run for mayor of Anchorage. It's long since been time that we had somebody um, like you. Um, who can really help guide the city and help it go to the next level. And I think that's what I'm most excited for is that you're bringing a new set of skills, ideas, a background um, that can really contribute to innovation. Um, I think one of the things that I really appreciate you since I've known you is that 
you have a deep intergenerational um, approach to just being George. And I think that's what the city needs. Um, somebody who knows how to listen and relate to and lift up and amplify the incredible diversity and leadership that exists in our young people, our children, our young leaders, our working adult population, um, and um, you know all the different um, kind of career stages or life stages of our community and our elders. And that kind of ability to listen and work with people is something that the city really needs. And, you know, um, through my work, we, our office is based in Anchorage. And, um, and so it's, it's easy to see um, that we are in a, um, in a, in a time uh, where innovative, thoughtful, um, energetic leadership is needed. And um, that's, those are all the things that I've appreciated about you, brother, um, and know that you're going to bring um, some excellent service, public service, to Anchorage. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, uh, we need new thinking. We need new ideas. And we need people who understand the living experiences of the people in the community that isn't detached, but is there, part of the heart of the city, part of the heart of the communities that can tap into this incredible rich diversity. And, um, you know, Anchorage, people say Anchorage is the biggest village in Alaska. And a friend of mine said, I don't think that that's accurate um, because in a village, we take care of each other. In a village, uh, we are re all related and you depend on each other in really incredible, powerful ways. And you share a spirit together. And, um, and I think that that is something that, you know, maybe Anchorage could earn if they have a mayor like you leading it. Um, so that we can become a city that cares for one another. And that can really uplift these unique values that are Alaskan born and bred for thousands of years and can bring that kind of relevance um, around your, your cabinet um, in the way that you work with people. And those are things that I'm super excited about, George. So Ganesh Chish Hawa for deciding to run. And I'm so excited um, for you to be elected as mayor of Anchorage. Koyana Puk, sister, I appreciate you. Thank you for the, the opportunity to build and work together for so many years and the solidarity that we've been able to work on. It is meaningful, it is impactful, and I look forward to continuing to working with you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> All right, we'll see you later. Yes, have a great night. Good to see you. Enjoy the music. We're gonna keep having a good time. Uh, Clara's on the phone, as you see, calls are coming in, and uh, we really want to uh, just thank everybody. As you leave the program, we want folks to, uh, to, to continue to watch on Facebook, continue to invite your friends, continue to, uh, to share the message of what we're trying to accomplish tonight. And uh, we have one more person to bring on right now, as, and then we'll go back to another performance. We do have red carpet photos, and Don is getting back on, uh, queued up here. But I want to bring a, one of the uh, also original bridge builders uh, to the to the screen with us, uh, Elsa Sargento, and uh, Elsa, hello. May I have to? I want to move out of it. The, yeah, there you go. Good to see you, Elsa. Good to see you, I'm George. Gonna, I'm gonna get out of the way, and it's uh, great to have you with us. And uh, thank you for sharing. And it's your time. Great. Thank you. Thank you for this opportunity, George. Um, my name is Elsa Sargento from the Filipino American community, and I'm just so humbled and, and uh, grateful that I'm a part of this gala this evening. George, your vision of bringing people together and work together for a safer and a better place to live, to work, to play, to raise a family, to get education, to improve economy is just so huge. Because I do believe 
that a happy environment brings healthy people, happy people, and healthy living. And I am drawn by your vision. I know that we have worked together for several years, and I am very, very impressed of how you deliver. You've got an exemplary leadership, and I know that you will bring that with you to head the city of Anchorage. Um, I will support you every step of the way, and I will spread the word to my family, to my friends, and to our community of friends. And George, more power to you. God bless. And I am praying and hoping for your success. God bless, my friend. Thank you, Elsa. Your, your leadership and you, uh, has been a part of this community for a memory, very long time, and you've served in a variety of, of official roles, helping to bring awareness and people together. So thank you for that work and for being a part of the original Bridge Builders uh, uh, organ, you know, kind of movement that I was able to be a part of and inherit as well. So thank you, Elsa. Thank you, George. All right, Don. Let's bring you back up on the on the on the line. All right. Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir, for having me back. And uh, if you're just joining us, yes, welcome to George 2021 for Mayor. It's a virtual gala, as you can see right here. Uh, the website is below us, George2021.com. You can go there and donate anytime throughout the show. And remember, when you donate while someone is performing. Uh, those donations will count as tips, if you will, if you will. So uh, make sure you're donating often and uh, donating for such a wonderful cause. Now, if you uh, if you don't know, uh, Alaska Anchorage, more affectionately, is such a, a extremely diverse place. Uh, one of the most diverse places in the United States. Touting that moniker uh, would make you think that the representation would be indicative of the population, but indeed it is not. George represents that part of the population that has so long not been spoken for. George represents a portion of us that want to move, that want to mobilize, that want to move forward. George represents family. George represents a whole lot of things. And uh, tonight you're gonna get to know more and more about Mr. and Mrs. Martinez, as the show goes on, like I said, it's a virtual gala. I had to break out my nice threads. I haven't worn this. Listen, George, I haven't worn this outfit, this suit, for 15 years. Not kid. I think the last time I wore it, I turned one of my birthdays. Okay, uh, and the only reason I can fit it now because I got the you know COVID booty right now. You know what I mean? I'm a little bit heavier than I was earlier in the year. And uh, it all worked out perfect. Okay? They, they, they call the that they call that the COVID twenty nine. You got to be careful. Yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> like that the extra freshman weight. fifteen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, I, I think everything worked out perfectly. Now I appreciate you guys for having me as one of your many virtual hosts. And uh, next, I guess we're ready for these guys. Uh, a couple of brothers uh, that uh, I have not had the distinct pleasure of meeting myself, but they come with their very own introduction. And I'll make sure I'll say that for you correctly. Okay, here we go. Young Andy and Kevin are two brothers. And Andy is at 12 years old. He's in the seventh grade at Romick Middle School. Okay. How you doing, Andy? You okay over there, buddy? Yeah, I'm doing really good. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Now, his, his brother, Kevin, is 10 years old. He's in the fifth grade at Rogers Park Elementary. How are you, young sir? Pretty good. I'm really happy to be here today. Fantastic. Happy to have you here. Now, uh, they've been playing violin in uh, many community gatherings, nursing homes, retirement parties. They do weddings, bar mitzvahs. They do it all, okay? They may be able to do it for you one day. Who knows? But these are two very talented young men, uh, two young musicians, also like, like fishing and swimming and traveling as two brothers, yes? Yes, yes, definitely. Wonderful. We're ready for you to knock our socks off, gentlemen. Thank you. The floor is all yours. Welcome to the virtual gala, young Andy and Kevin, tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Ray. <laughs> Thank you. 
he was looking for so steel. He was in a bind, sweet behind, willing to make a deal. And he came across this young man, saw him come playing hot. The devil jumped up, hit you first, said, boy, to what? Get you need no, but I'm fit to play too. And if you can't stick it out, I'll make a bet with you. Now you play a bit and get fit of all, but give the devil's due. I've been to go looking for so, because I think I'm better than you. Come on, son, my name's Johnny, and I might be a saint, but I'll take your pity, you're gonna grab some of the best I bring. Johnny, rather than you fall in my Give it up. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, oh boys. Uh, I, I have tears in my eyes. This is great. What do you want to say, George? Where are you going, George? Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, these young, these young, these two young performers. How oh, excellent. <laughs> Oh, oh my and, God, and I feel privileged to have watched you all grow for the last several years <laughs> as performing at all of these community events. That was great. Guys phenomenal. Thank you for joining with us and thank you for bringing your energy to our campaign and, and our, uh, you know, our movement of Anchorage Forward. You guys represent our future. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Andy and Kevin, ladies and gentlemen, Andy and Kevin, you're going to hear some big fun. things from those guys. I guarantee it. They're going to have their first hip hop gospel uh, soul album real soon. Guaranteed it's coming. Some of the comments, though. Oh, my God. Shout out to Kima Hamilton. What's up, brother Kima? Uh, thank you so much, Jonathan Teeters. He just donated 25. I'm saying for the win, Kima. For the win. I wasn't expecting that. I'm just, and they busted out with the rap. And psh, come on, man. Uh, <laughs> Tasha Hughes, Hooch, thank you so much. David Wahlberg, thank you. Uh, uh, Cynthia Alexander, thank you for joining us for the show tonight. Uh, Carly Denise, uh, or if that's Dennis, thank you for joining us. Don Boondock, yes, oh my god, they are awesome. Yeah, there were donations during that time too, yes, and there were a lot of donations during that time. And uh, yes, money, 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 money. Jonathan, thank you, Jonathan, thank you so much. Uh, we're going to be donating and uh, matching those donations during the performances like that one. Uh, and uh, we've got many more to come, actually. I'm just kind of, it's kind of crazy to know that we just getting this thing started, okay? George, 2021, as you can see, there's the email for you, the website, if you will, george2021.com, george2021 for mayor. As we toss it over to uh, another very wonderful, wonderful young lady, very good friend of mine, we go back many, many, many years. Welcome her to the show, Miss Christina Bellamy. Doctor hey. Christina Bellamy. Yes, Jesus. Doctor Christina. Yes. Good hey. to see you, darling. 
Good to see you too, Don. Good to see you. Thank you so much for having me. Um, George, you know, we go way back and you know you have got my support. You have got my vote. Um, I just want to say when we talk about new voice and new choice, you embody that so well. Um, from, from the time that I first met you, it was about elevation, creation. It was about inclusivity. It was about building the capacity, bringing people together so that we could find a new path and a new way. So I'm really excited. I feel like it's long overdue that you put your name in the hat to be the mayor of Anchorage, but I know that, um, you are going to be a wonderful, um, addition to the ranks of mayor. You are going to help to, um, heal our community, um, help to see student voice in a different way, um, elevate the voice of our young people um, so that they know that they too have a, a space and a time and a place in this in, in, in the leadership of our city. So I am absolutely all for this. Um, and I and I just I, I can't be more thrilled um, to be a part of the team. So I'm not gonna keep going on and on, but I just want you to know you got me. <laughs> Thank you, Christina, and, and for the work that you do. You continue to inspire young women and young people in our community every day that you show up, the way you show up and work really hard and continue to elevate. Uh, both for your family, for yourself, and for your community. So thank you uh, for what you do and for what you represent and for your support. Oh, wow, this has been uh, phenomenal. I have the privilege of introducing this next, uh, next round of, of, of uh, speakers. And, um, and so first I wanted to remind everyone, we are today at Perfectionist Audio, thanks to John Schwartz. And uh, John Schwartz is a local business owner. He's a community entrepreneur who, brought his talents, his entrepreneurial energy to helping it solve a community problem at the very beginning of the pandemic. This is the person that was on the news for creating the face shields. And he went into his own shop, used his own materials and started to produce face shields that went out widely, thousands of them, all to uh, frontline workers and healthcare providers. This is the power of entrepreneur spirit in our community. This is the power that we want to unleash for the benefit of our community. So I'm really thrilled to be uh, working with local businesses, educators, community representatives, uh, young people to bring it all together. And that's really what it's all about. And, and part of my time at the, in the municipality was focused on bringing back the Youth Advisory Commission. A city that invests in its young people is a city that says it cares about tomorrow. And uh, right now I have an opportunity to bring at least one of my youth commissioners on. Uh, technical difficulties have uh, prevented maybe some others from joining, but uh, Carly Dennis uh, is with us now. Carly, uh, thank you for being with us tonight and the uh, floor is yours. Hey, George, thanks for having me. Um, yeah, like George said, I first started working um, in that capacity with the Youth Advisory Commission um, and that's definitely where I first started understanding um, the power of young people, um, the power of young people to change not only the present and the problems that we're seeing today, um, but understanding that investing in our youth is the single biggest investment we can make um, for the future. And especially understanding that investing in our youth goes hand in hand with issues like climate change, like racial and social justice, um, like public health and mental health. Um, and all of these investments and all of these issues, when we focus on youth, when we focus on these issues that youth care about, not only are we prioritizing and elevating these people who have been um, sidelined and marginalized often, um, but also people who will go on to solve these issues in the future. Um, and I saw George take all of that knowledge um, in the Youth Advisory Commission. Um, when I first started working with that group, George would use phrases and and start talking about things that went way over my head. Um, he would say things like, you know, we got to talk about the silos and the uh, the stakeholder block building and intentionality. Um, and I, I kind of went along with it. But slowly, as I worked more and more with that group, um, I started to see what George was talking about. And I started to realize what immense vision George has for this community um, and to realize the the energy. I think somebody previously talked about the, the energy that George has is incredible. And, and I don't think I can understate it. Um, I know that George, when he becomes mayor, will prioritize these policies, these really radical um, and long-term focused policies, um, thinking about uh, climate policies, thinking about um, social justice reform, um, thinking about um, energy innovation, um, 
all of these issues that are really important to young people and that will um, benefit the municipality, benefit our state for, for decades um, and maybe, maybe further into the future. Um, I know that George will bring all of this um, so yeah, I'll, I'll leave it there. I'm really excited to support George and, and I know that he speaks for the youth of, youth of the city. And, and I want to shout out, uh, first of all, Carly, thank you. Um, uh, you were one of, the, one of the youth commissioners that helped to bring the youth commission back, mm -hmm. right? And the role that I played was to be able to bring the administration and the resources, but it really, like everything else, requires citizen engagement and resident engagement and participation. Government's role is not to solve all the problems. It's to help to bring the people together in our community because we have the solutions, we have the talent, and we have the energy. And so we're not talking about labels. We're talking about solving problems. And uh, and you're exactly right. And 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 uh, and I want to shout out Ref Dwyer and Rainier Herzeg who couldn't join us tonight. Uh, but uh, but I do have their photos, so I, I want to make sure that their photos uh, came onto the scene with us. These were, uh, or at least I have um, uh, one of the, <laughs> I thought I had one of the photos. Um, but the point is, these are all uh, folks in our community, grew up here, live their lives here, um, imagine here and dream here. And every day working with you all inspired me to know that uh, to keep going and to make the difference and that uh, I'm really proud that you are standing with me tonight, Carly, and uh, look forward to uh, raising the bells and continuing to empower young people in our community. Yeah, thank you so much, George. Absolutely. Hey, Don, let's bring you back on. And I think, I think we got some more calls to respond to now. I think we got, let's, let's get Don back in here. All right. Good to see you again there, George. How are you doing, sir? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, good to see you as well. If you are just joining us, thank you so much for uh, being a part of uh, the George Martinez, uh, the virtual gala. Uh, this is to raise much needed funds for uh, a big race for mayor that's happening in 2021. Every dollar that you give is going to go so, so very far. And uh, speaking of folks giving dollars, I've got to give a shout out. Uh, and, and this is our max donor list. Uh, these guys, and, and we just started this broadcast about 6.30, 6.45. We had some technical difficulties that didn't get us pushed off. But when I tell you we got pushed off of the cliff and started to fly, that has uh, been exactly what's been happening. I uh, want to say thank you so very, very, very much to Kaleem Norden. Uh, uh, we've been knowing this uh, young lady uh, for over 40 years with the uh, constituency with uh, Brother Ed Wesley. Uh, and we will all want to say thank you so much for your $500 pledge tonight. Uh, also want to say thank you as well to uh, Sylvester Hubert. I hope I'm saying that right. If I'm not, forgive me. Uh, he's the owner of Midnight Sun Car and Van Rental. Uh, uh, also, uh, Curtis, and, and, and I hope I'm saying this right. Uh, is this Hammond, H H Hammer, Hannon? Who who wrote this? And did they write it with their feet? Uh, help help me out here. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying we're live, ladies and gentlemen. Was it okay, Eleanor? Okay. Eleanor All right, there we go. Another five hundred dollar donation from Eleanor Andrews. Thank you so much, Eleanor Andrews, for your, your donation. Twenties and lots of. Very, you know what, the 20s, the $25 donations, the $30 donations, uh, those come in very, very handy. Thank you so much. Also, got to say thank you to Curtis Harris, uh, past master, past grandmaster of Prince Hall Grand Lodge. Let me make sure I say that right. Yeah. Uh, oh, wow. Did that just come in? Just right now. Just right now. This just in, of course, the uh, good friend of mine, uh, fantastic young man, uh, of course, Brother John Swartz just made his $500 pledge. And got to say thank you so much, John, for putting us up and uh, your lovely establishment, giving us a place to broadcast this wonderful virtual gala. Uh, thank you so kindly for all that you do in and around the community, from the face shields to the quality local business that you provide here for us in Anchorage uh, as well. And thank you so much. Uh, are we ready for... Uh, 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 a little bit of virtual dance, if you will, a virtual dance performance. I am excited about these guys in the standby. Coming up, many more of those donations, those big money 
big maximum donations coming up here. But I'm very excited about these two ladies. Uh, I've been knowing them both for so very long, and they're so very beautiful and very, very talented. They are going to amaze you with their wonderful dance skills. Please welcome them to the virtual gala for George 2021 Sankofa Dance Theater Alaska. Oh, sun go for high in the heavens you saw. I saw the sun moon follow you back to yesterday. The green will be back to yesterday, sun. It will rekindle me, rekindle the spirit into tomorrow and high on the wind. Sun go for flies again and again. Sankofa. Yes. How you ladies doing tonight? Y'all having a, a, a good time over there? Hanging out with us? No, we're hanging out. It's just us, but you know, it's always a party. So. <laughs> yes, it is always a party with just you two. I see y'all on Facebook all the time. It'd just be you two <laughs> and a party. It could be lunchtime, you two, and a party. A completion, you two, it's a party. No, I love you girls. Thank you so much for uh, uh, lending us uh, just a little piece of your talents. So thank you and Sankofa Dance Theater Alaska. One more time, give it up for them on a virtual tip. Yes, Sankofa, Sankofa. Ooh, they're so cute. <laughs> uh, by the way, if you're just joining us, George 2021, see there? There is the website. I feel like Vanna Brown, Vanna Khaki. Okay. Not quite. Are, are we going to start doing that now? Yeah. That'd be that. That'd be great because we've got so many wonderful co-hosts. Uh, what we want to start doing is starting. With, there you go. If you look to the bottom of your screen, that little ticker tape right there. That or those are the names yeah. of many of those wonderful folks that have donated, that have been co-hosts, that have shared this event. Uh, as far as being a part of it, helped us put it together, performed, uh, told a grandmama about it, did something uh, to help us co-host this event. Because this is not even remotely possible without the help of the community. And that's the thing that George Martinez, Martinez represent is our community. He doesn't sit up on top of a hill looking down. He sits right along next to us and he eats with us. He's in the community with us. So this is why he is running for mayor 2020. He has my vote, and I truly hope that he has yours as well, as well as a donation tonight. Don't forget, you can also call and make your donation if you're not, uh, I guess, uh, computer inclined or if you just don't have access. You can call 907-406-8907. 8907. Uh, operators are standing by. 
as we speak. Operators are standing by. One more time, 907-406-8907. Operators are standing by. Yes, at literally next to me. So uh, thank you guys. Uh, George and uh, his lovely, lovely wife, Mrs. Clara, uh, uh, we appreciate you guys and uh, all that you're doing tonight and uh, all that we represent here for this wonderful deal. Uh, again, what's that number? 907-406-8907. 907-406-8907. As you can look below, the ticker tape is going. Look at George Kroomer the third. You know who that is. That's all. Hey, all shout out to all my DJs that's been came through and represented. Uh, shout out to everybody that's listening. Do we have a donation list that I could like hit up at all that I can just start just just giving shouts yeah. out? Uh, we got two more. Uh, two, two more big money donations. All right. Here we go. Uh, another five hundred dollar donation. Thank you so much to the lovely and talented uh, Miss Margot Bellamy. Thank you so much, Miss Bellamy. Uh, Elsa Sargente. Is that correct? Sargento. Sargento. I uh, hope I said that right. Thank you so much for your $500 donation as well. Uh, Got to give love to all the folks that are commenting. Tracy Parrish, what's up? Alaska Pacific, we see you, baby. Uh, all of you guys that have joined us tonight, all of you guys that have been sharing us. Keem is representing. He's been with us rocking the whole night. Don Pointer, what's up, baby? You know we love you. Thank you for coming. Uh, Nigel Sharp, thank you for coming. Uh, thank you so much. We appreciate all of you guys for being a part of it tonight. Uh, I got one more. I, I'm going to say one more. I've just, just got a, another uh, big money. Uh, Max Donat is what we're calling him. Uh, Mayfield Evans. Mayfield Evans, thank you for your $500 donation. Uh, the owner of E&S Diversified Services. Again, Mayfield, Mayfield Evans, uh, owner of E&S Diversified Services. Thank you so very, very, very much. Uh, uh, let's see. We've got uh, one more. I need to give a big shout out to Sylvester Hubert. I gave you love. Thank you, Sylvester. Ed, oh, Ed. Oh, thank you so much. Let's drop it in. Thank you so much to big brother Ed Wesley for his donation as well. He's all, I'm telling you, Ed is like, man, Ed's the man. I love me some Ed. I hope Ed watch it. Ed, as you can see, I took a play from your book. Your outfit book. You know what I'm saying? I had to come Deacon style tonight. Play with the, you know. Steve with the Stephen Harvey, the S T E P H A N Harvey. We're gonna go to Pastor Tommy. Oh, we ready to Pastor Tommy? All right. With that being said, speaking of your boy being a deacon, we are gonna send it on over to Pastor Tommy. <laughs> hey, how you doing, Don? Good to Let's see you, man. Best, Pastor. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I consider it a great honor and privilege to be on tonight. Um, I just want to jump in and say that uh, George Martinez. Um, his vision, um, he doesn't just speak a vision, he personifies his vision. Um, his vision to bring people together and his vision to serve. And um, I have had um, a number of experiences with George serving with him and watching him serve others and connecting with people. If I was to draw a picture of George, he'll be someone with his arms stretched out with a cable in one hand and another cable in the other hand, pulling the community and people together. And so I'm excited and I have great expectation for this upcoming election. Um, I thank God for his fresh vision. I thank God for his, I thank, uh, thank him for his passion. Um, and he also exemplifies it as a man, as a husband, as a father. Um, it is not an act that he's putting on. He doesn't show up to your event to serve for a photo op. He actually come to get his hands dirty and to dig in and to help. So. Man, I am excited. I'm so I'm, I'm thankful that you allowed me to do this today. And um, 2021 is going to be a great year. And I already call you, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor, man, I'm I'm proud. I'm so happy for what's going to happen in your life here and for our city. Thank you, Reverend. And uh, and I appreciate you. Appreciate the work that you do. The heart that you all have. You know, um, we come from the sleeve roller background. Yeah. We're going to roll yeah. sleeves up and work. Right. And and yes, that's sir. where your heart is. Uh, yes, that's, where, that's how that's why I'm, 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 I'm aligned with uh, with with you and the work that you do yes, in the community. And I yes, appreciate Thank our, you. our mutual alignment. Hey, we, we're going to make it happen, man. God bless. Yes, you. indeed. Well, we got Thanks, let me Clara, see. We, got, we, got, we have a, 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 another brother's going to come on. We'll have a moment of we're all together. Uh, but we have uh, Pastor Moises Polanco as well. I know you all work in the community and uh, we're going to turn it over to to, uh, to, to uh, Moises as well. And. Uh, it's an honor to be here, uh, George. And if you allow me to speak in Spanish to reach out to 
the people that speak my mother tongue. Es un honor estar en esta noche virtual de gala con Jorge George Martínez, eh, el candidato a la alcaldía municipal. Y déjame decirte que, uh, primeramente, presentarme Moisés Polanco, la Iglesia de Dios Betel. Tengo aquí ya más de tres décadas. Vine en 1984. He estado pastoreando por dos décadas y trabajo también en el School District por um, 26 años. Este, y he conocido a, a George Martínez ya por un gran tiempo, varios años, y lo que yo conozco de, de George es que es un líder ejemplar. Él es, lo, como dicen en inglés, un people mover. ¿verdad? Él alcanza a las personas claves en la comunidad y los trae ¿verdad? para que puedan trabajar juntos. Él se enfoca su mensaje en la familia, en la unidad, en la integración de la diversidad. Y lo que yo veo en, en George, con su gran liderazgo que tiene, es la inclusividad. Que él, uh, de todos los diversos niveles de la estrata social, donde uh, hay diferentes grupos étnicos y culturales, él respeta eso. Él respeta las opiniones y él trae esa unidad para trabajar juntos, para que Anchorage sea un, esté en un mejor nivel para llevar a Anchorage más allá. Y es lo que queremos hacer todos, ¿verdad? Por eso, esta, este tipo de, de, de asuntos no lo hago así yo, pero dije, merita, merita mi presencia, que yo pueda dar mi opinión. Y, y yo recomiendo a George Martínez, que es un buen asset para la comunidad de Anchorage. Having said that, I'm going to summarize it in English very briefly. It's impressive his uh, his leadership, his people mover. He brings people together. He knows to keep people to reach out, and uh, his his message of unity and uh, integration of the diversity, inclusiveness of all the diverse strata socially and uh, all, all the um, ethnicities and and and, and culturally. A conglomerate of Anchorage, he wants to bring that together, and it is impressive how he does it because it's not something he wants to do. I'm here speaking because I've seen him do it, and uh, he's, he's a good thing for Anchorage, and I, I, I'm honored to be here. Thank you, George, for inviting me. Uh, Moisés, thank you so much for your energy, for your words, y por hablarlo en, su, en nuestras otras idiomas. Uh, claro que sí. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Oh, excellent. Um, and uh, we're going to we're going to go. We got one more person before we go to the next thing, Don. And uh, because I see um, one of the other things that I'm really focused on is our community sports. I think community sports are vital. And um, and this and this brother here has a vision for both community sports. Uh, he uh, was a, a, he does these little league camps that people all across the city have known and benefited from. Him, but he also has the time and taking the time to go to the Mountain View Boys and Girls Club early mornings and be out there running uh, baseball morning camps and and has a vision for sports in the city and is one of our uh, one of the cities and the state's most, um, you know, like uh, successful returners come back home, having gone out from Alaska out to uh, professional uh, sports and come back home. Uh, Jamar, thank you for being with us. Hey, and <laughs> my son says hello. He said, Coach Hill is going to be on the thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's your yeah. floor. Awesome. Thanks for having me out, George. I, I appreciate you giving me an opportunity to, uh, get dressed up at least from the from the the uh the waist up you know it but uh i uh you know when you you asked me to speak on this thing i identify as um as uh, george jr's baseball coach and um i appreciate what you're doing and i had to wrap my head around a, a message and i'll be honest with all you guys um i've traveled around the country most of my adult life i really haven't been put long enough to uh to vote in a mayoral election locally and so i go you know what's the message there and i uh i had to think about where george and i cross paths and um with that being said i'm glad to be at this gala most of the time i'm wearing sweatpants throwing batting practice to kids connecting with young people and uh and that's where i'd find george you know and we we talk deeply we talk deeply about a lot of issues we both believe in and i was very impressed about how genuinely and passionately he would feel about these things about equity with young people uh you know about you know community sports and just getting involved in having the mentorship and the pathway for for each one to teach one and, and giving kids a chance to be successful um 
And so, you know, past that, you know, these, these conversations are usually in the bleachers of a baseball field and we'll debate. We've had hard debates and, uh, and also, you know, we found resolution in that. And I, and that's something I'd like to see more in politics. And, uh, I am on here to say, you know, George is somebody who genuinely uh, exemplifies that and deeply cares about just positive experiences for the young people in this city. And, uh, you know, and once I got the opportunity to wrap my head around what that represented, um, I was very proud um, to just know him and just to know he's taken this step in leadership to, to, to take it on at the local government level and get this stuff sewn into, you know, all of our lives here as Anchorage citizens. And, and so uh, I appreciate you having me on here. I, I definitely support you. Um, you it takes a lot of courage and I'm, I'm proud of you, man. I wanna see you just keep growing and keep growing and keep giving back to the community. Brother Jamar, um, thank you so much for, uh, for being with me. Thank you for your words, but to your point, yeah, I, my son's coach, Exactly right. And um, and I've seen you on the field. Right. And it, and I go back to some of the other people we've seen tonight and the supporters that I have, people who roll their sleeves up. Um, you, you, you didn't rest on any laurel that you've ever retained. You kept bringing it back and uh, and you brought the ability to leverage what you have to help make a difference in kids lives. And uh, and and I want to see your vision grow. I want to continue to, to encourage you uh, and to support you and your vision. And we're going to work uh, together to make sure that all of our kids could be self, uh, healthy and successful. Absolutely. Thanks for putting no ceilings on what we're trying to do here. I appreciate what you're doing, man. Sky's the limit. And let's keep going. Thank you, sir. No problem. Excellent. Jamar Hill, everybody, uh, drafted by the Mets. Um, and is a little league uh, coach and uh, and is just a real commitment to community sports. And uh, and so we want to we're going to go to uh, the next performer. I want to go back to Don. And we uh, I'm just so excited. Hey, Don. Don, let's bring you back in. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, man, we are having a great time. If you're just joining us, thank you so much for being a part of the virtual gala. George 2021 for mayor, as you can see. The website is down below and uh, <clears throat> charge it to my head and not to my heart. But uh, I mispronounce uh, a couple of names and I'm going to try my best to 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 repronounce them correctly. You know, I'm from Alabama. We, 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 we say stuff real different. Uh, but Kaleem Nouradine. Uh, did I say that right? Kaleem Nouradine. Thank you so kindly for your five hundred dollar donation. Uh, also, Edward Wesley. Thank you, kind gentlemen, for your $500 donation as well. Uh, I think we're ready for our next performer. Yeah. I think we are so very much. Uh, I am, definitely. One, remember, remind them about the tips, though. Oh, yeah. Uh, once the performers and uh, this next young lady starts to perform, uh, of course, you're going to love what she's doing, and you're going to start tipping. Uh, don't forget, we have a matching donor that is going to match all of the different uh, – uh, donations that are being given and uh, doubling that, if you will. So if you give a $10 tip, we'll give you another $10 on top of that. Yeah, no ceiling, baby. Sky is the limit. Just like this next performer tonight on the virtual gala, George 2021 for mayor. Don't forget, you can always call to make your donations, 907-406-8907, or go to george2021.com to make your donation. And you know, get a little bit more insight about George Martinez, uh, who is going to be your next mayor. Just putting it out there. Next up, this young lady has been all over the world with her talents, and she always represents Anchorage, Alaska in her pursuits, if you will, because she is not just Miss Anchorage. She is, she is a culmination of many different places and uh, many different experiences and uh, her voice tells a wonderful story ladies and gentlemen i would like to welcome to the virtual gala the one and only miss don mcclain Making lists, buying special gifts, taking. 
taking time to be kind to one and all. It's that time of year when your friends are dear and you're wanting to do more than buy presents at a store. Why don't you give love for Christmas Day? Even the man who has everything would be so happy if you would bring him love on Christmas Day. No greater gift is there than love. People you don't know, not a smile, hello, everywhere there's an air of Christmas joy. It's that time of year when the world sits sincere and you want to find a way to do more than words can say. Why don't you give love on Christmas Day? The man on the street or the people upstairs, they need to know there's someone who can give love on Christmas Day. No greater gift is that love. What the world needs is love. Yes, the world needs a love. Why don't you give love on Christmas Day? Oh, every child on Santa's knee has room for love underneath that tree. Give love for Christmas Day. The greater gift is that love. What the world needs is love. Yes, the world needs a love. Give love on Christmas Day. Oh, even the one who has everything would be so happy if you would bring the love on Christmas Day. No greater. Martinez running for mayor. You definitely have my vote, and this is exciting. And in the times that we're in right now, you know, we can't forget to care for our fellow man, our neighbor, and I feel like that's what George is going to bring to the city of Anchorage, is bringing back that care for your neighbor. So this is why my new series is going to be coming out next year. Nelping down the same road, we walk it alone. We're all on the same quest, searching for our home. Just one bad decision. Oh, right there went wrong. They you down a long path, such a long time to stay strong. I'll be there when time starts breaking your heart, day or night, no matter what you're going through. I'll be here when the rain starts pouring down, even when there's pressure all around. 
day or night, no matter what you're going through. I'll be here for you. I battle depression. Barely made it through. I felt rejection. And I didn't know what to do. I moved on to the next one, whoa, just to find something new. I had to change my perspective. I had to change my view. Even when it's falling, I'll be here to guide you. No matter what you're going through, when the rain starts falling, oh, 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 And I hope you guys were donating and donating and donating and donating. Thank you so much, Tech, back there in the back. But uh, apparently, the the music stopped somewhere in between, she kept going. and she kept going and on the beat. <laughs> on the beat. <laughs> Just saying, that's what talent do right there. Thank you, Don. Beautiful as always, man. Flawless victory, flawless performance uh, for a uh, wonderful evening. Uh, Got to give a big shout out. Uh, was this donated during the song? It, it, it wasn't okay. No, that's a question. You sure? Okay. Uh, All we, right. I mean, we, we, we tipped out though. <laughs> we tipped out though. We tipped out. Yes. <laughs> Tracy Paris, Alaska Pacific uh, Insurance. Thank you so much. Donation of five hundred. Dollars, one of our maximum donators. Thank you so much for all that you do in the community and uh, all that you're doing for the campaign by your donation. Uh, wonderful, wonderful donation. Uh, question, have you donated today? Well, if you have not, you can always go by george2021.com and uh, make that donation there. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see that little ticker tape rolling there. That's another place where you can donate now. Uh, in just a little bit, we'll start streaming more of those names. Let me put my car back. So, so I'm streaming more of those names across there uh, of uh, some more of our co-hosts, some of the folks that have been a part of this situation and helping us pull it together. Uh, I gotta say thank you so much to my sound guy from Playhouse Live TV, Mr. Magic Mike. He drove in to help us out with the background. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate you, Bob Rob. Thank you so much. Just saying, talent scout, brother, talent scout. We got to get those two little young cats on the show that was playing the violin. I'm just saying, Playhouse Live TV. Play, is it Playhouse TV Live or Playhouse Live TV? The website? Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Well, YouTube. Anyway, YouTube. Uh, go by there, check us out because uh, our political analyst is the uh, one and only George Martinez. He, he often joins us to give us a little bit of insight because I'm not the most politically savvy individual. I'll be honest with you. I'm not going to bull crap you, okay? I'm going to be honest with you. He, he He's helped me understand uh, the game of politics and kind of how it all works. When you have that kind of communication, you know, that uh, he's a brother, you know, he's a one of my peers, but he 
is uh, so palatable that, that anyone can learn from him. You know, that just speaks volumes about someone's character, you know, how they uh, are perceived by their Tracy folks. Oh, say that, say it again. Oh, that Tracy's right there. Yeah, thank you, Tracy. But th those are those things right there that uh, makes George so special. So people who give the max, uh, we appreciate you so kindly. Uh, Sister Bellamy there. Oh, there she is. Tracy oh, Parrish know, on the line. All right, girl. Looking like she just got through with a Dismiss Child concert. Come on now. Looking good, child. Yes, Jesus. She got the tree in the background. You look luxurious tonight. How are you, lovely? I'm well, I'm Tony. Well, Tony. I'm Tony. Can you hear me okay? Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. We can hear you perfectly. Okay. Well, you got good. the whole background over there. Is that, is, is that a Pier 1 import magazine photo shoot back there? That's It's beautiful. It's a beautiful I'm going to let you talk. Bye, Tracy. Thank Love you. Me. Thank you. <laughs> Well, I'm not a big, huge person to stand out and do things politically, but George stands for something that I really, really believe in. He's consistent from the time I've met him through all the way up until now, he has been consistent. Um, he's been um, the same person. He's been very real and very transparent. And the love that he has for his family and his wife and the things that I've known and seen him do you just can't make these things up. So because of all of those things, he he has, there's a trust that I have developed for him that when people run for something, they generally will tell you what they're going to do and they become this person because they want your trust. But George has been this person from day one. He did not um, just begin to be George Martinez. Um, I'm running for mayor. Please vote for me. Trust me. Trust is a big word. It is a big word to me. And I have trust issues, but I do trust George. I know he believes in the children and he believes in the people. And that's why I believe in him and I am supporting him. So if you don't know anything about politics, if it intimidates you, if it scares you, if you're just not that interested, ask some questions, check into it, ask other people, meet George, call him. I promise you, I promise promise you, you will see things different. You will become a little more educated. You'll become a little more interested in this process um, that affects you. Um, George Martinez, I support you and your family. And um, I challenge all of you small businesses, if you can and you can donate, match my donation, donate $500 and support George Martinez for mayor 2021. Thank you, George. And firstly, and, and Miss Clara. <laughs> thank you, Tracy. Okay, I can hear you now. There you go. I'm Clara. Hi, thank you so much, sister. Good seeing you. You look beautiful. Thank you. So do you, as always. Thank you. And and you know, Tracy, you inspire uh, you inspire lots of people in our community as well. Right. You you uh, you handle your business with profession. I'm I'm I'm. We have to trust even in all in our business interactions and uh and you've had you've your your business has has my business right so because because you do your work uh with the highest quality but you're also a person that at every opportunity you're a sleeve roller you contribute you care and uh and and i know you've inspired my wife on her small business journey thank you thank you i love recycling greatness thank you for being a part of that Holla. <laughs> <laughs> Keep those donations coming in, y'all. We're doing good. Thank you so much, Tracy, for those wonderful words. We love you. Appreciate it. Hey, you got to unmute, Don. You're on mute. There you go. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> Hold on, Hold on <laughs> And I'm back. Oh! Again, thank you, Tracy. Alaska Pacific Insurance. Uh, yes, uh, Sankofa. Yeah, thank you guys so much uh, as well for your performance tonight. Uh, Miss Don McLean. Wow. Wow, what a performance. Thank you again, Don. Uh, but speaking of Sankofa, they are back for another installment tonight. Jesus, yes. <laughs> I just like to make them laugh at Google before they go on, because that just creates a whole nother atmosphere. When you're having fun, when you're doing what you love, something magical happens. Let's make the magic happen. Once again, from Sankofa Dance Theater, Alaska. Thank you. 
Beautiful job, job, ladies, as always. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. And we're so humbled to be a part of this venture with you, uh, George. We do cycle to stand behind you and your vision and the dream that you have for the community and just looking forward to great things. We, we're very excited. Yes, it's, it's been great to have and be around a candidate that has been engaged in the arts community from the get-go, from the beginning. And so it's nice to know that you can tap in to somebody in your in your government to advocate for the arts. Absolutely. So we are thrilled to support George and can't wait to see him win in April. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. There you go. Thank you. Yes, he was St. Kofa I laughed. Uh, yeah. San Kofa. I rocks with St. Kofa, man. Uh, they always do a heck of a job. Uh, thank you guys again for joining us. Uh, George, I think we just had another donation, uh, a max donation of $500. Just came in from uh, Elias Rojas. Did I say that correctly, George? That's right, Rojas, okay. yes. He's not only my political analyst, he's my Spanish instructor as well. Uh, <laughs> Elias Rojas, thank you so much for your $500 donations. George, how do you say 500 in Spanish? 500 dollars. 500 dollars. El donation. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. It's going to go a long way. <laughs> As you can see, I'm like the Jerry Lewis of the telethon, okay? But I'm the man in brown tonight, okay? That's how I'm doing. Because I'm rolling with uh, Brother George Martinez. G George, right there, george2021.com. Ride by uh, the website and make your donations there. It's always welcome. And uh, we have a list of donors that I just want to say thank you so much. And we can just keep on scrolling. Uh, Brother Cal Williams. Thank you, Cal, for your donation. We appreciate you. Uh, now, now, I'm, 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 I'm going to shoot in the dark here. Uh, Ingvil. Ingvil Gut. Gutu, yep. Ingvo Gutu, thank you so much for your donation. Uh, Diane Heaney, thank you. Uh, Brother David Blake, what's up, David? All right. Uh, he's not even in the city. He's where is he? At? Jamaica somewhere? He's, yeah, he's back. He's back. Oh, he back? And you ain't called me yet, David? <laughs> Thomas <laughs> Baby, you know I love you. I, I miss you, brother. Uh, Thomas Gardner, thank you so much, brother Thomas, uh, for your donation. Uh, of course, uh, my Elizabeth Medicine Crow, thank you for your time on the mic and uh, your donation as well. Uh, Miss Margaret Bellamy, love you so much. Thank you for your donation. Uh, thank you to uh, Dr. Bellamy that also joined us for the show. Dr. Christina Bellamy, thank you also for your time tonight, young lady. Uh, Andrea Walker, or Andrea Walker, I don't know if I said it right, but thank you, Miss Walker, for your donation. Uh, Jonathan Teeters made a wonderful donation. Maria Crawford made her donation to the campaign. Sarah McBride, uh, Angela, she donated three times. Because she's like back to back to back. Thank you, Angela. Uh, Eric Gerndison. I hope I said your name right, Eric. Thank you so much for your donation. Uh, Natalia Boon, uh, Bunton or Natalie Bunton. Is that it? Uh, thank you for your donation. Barbara Jerry Taylor. Thank you for your donation. Twice. She came through twice with the bam bam. I like that. The one two combo. Thank you, Miss Barbara. Uh, Brenda. 
Brenda Taylor, or Tyler, excuse me. Brenda Tyler, thank you for your donation. Brother Don Pointer from Design Alaska, thank you for your donation. Terry Nelson, thank you for your donation. Uh, Jackie Kasson, thank you for your donation. We thank you so kindly for being a part of the uh, festivities this evening and helping us raise funds for George 2021. Uh, George for Mayor of Anchorage, Alaska, George 2021. And uh, yes, all of your donations and your support is greatly appreciated. And you can definitely keep it coming. Uh, with Edward, I'm gonna, excuse me, Edgar? Edgar Blaster. Is this a top tier donator? Edgar Blanch, Blanchford. 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 Edgar Blanchford. Dr. Top, Blanchford. Dr. Blanchford. Will you just put the DR on? Okay. Ed, Dr. Ed, for, doc, Dr. Edgar Blanchford, thank you for your $500 donation, sir. We won't mess that name up again. Probably will if I say it again. But doctor, thank you, doctor. We appreciate it. So come. Uh, there's some Spanish being spoken on the screen. I can't read it, George. That's your department. They translated. Oh, they did? I just signed up to volunteer at George2021.com. And you can do that, too. You can sign up to volunteer at George2021.com. You can donate. You can meet George. You can be a part of the movement. And this movement has so many different faces, so many different creeds, and so many different folks that are already a part of it. Why won't you do the same as well? We really appreciate you for all that you do. If you see the ticker tape there right below, uh, those are just some of the folks that have been donated tonight. Back to George Martinez sitting to my, I mean, excuse me, he's in the other room. Uh, uh, he's not next to me at all. That's why we look so in, in such different places. Uh, we'll throw it back to him uh, now with uh, he and uh, the wife. We, we, how's it going over there, George? Well, we, we <laughs> that's good. No, we, I've always wanted to do that. George, how's it going in there? Is everything okay over there? How's the weather? Everything all right? All right. <laughs> I'm going to slide over. And uh, as you all know, we're in, uh, we did this tonight from Perfectionist Audio. We want to thank uh, John Schwartz for opening up his garage to us. Uh, we, we did a virtual event tonight uh, because of safety, and we still wanted to continue to connect with each other. So um, Clara has been answering the phone. Folks have been calling and been sending these messages and we are greatly appreciative. We, uh, we're going to kind of post a little bit and talk about, make sure we hit, we definitely hit the, the, uh, the threshold of the tip. So thank everyone for maxing out those donations during the tips. That's going to support our artists and our working artists. Um, so we really appreciate you on that front. And, uh, we also want to make sure that, uh, Don, we got another, another performance from Kill Bill to wind us down. Right. But but we're in that time where we want to encourage people to how to just continue to move forward with us. And as you heard, you can volunteer on the website that's ticking on the bottom, George 2021.com. You can make a donation. Donations can range from your time, from what you have to offer, your talent to obviously, you know, five, ten, twenty, five hundred dollars. The maximum allow allowable per calendar year is five hundred. And I want to thank our five hundred dollar donors. But every donation matters. Every participant matters and all of our energy matters. You could do what you can from where you are. That's what matters most. This is all about bringing people together, resetting, rebuilding and rebounding Anchorage stronger, better prepared and more prosperous than before. When we work together and roll our sleeves up, we'll be able to make sure that our economy is strong, thriving, and gives the families the opportunity to live and, and flourish. We want to make sure that every neighborhood is safe and connected and that our children are healthy and successful. We're going to continue to expand business enterprise opportunities, entrepreneurial opportunities, building our cradle to career and beyond pipeline, and making sure that our streets look and feel like the city that we know we are in, a special place of hope, opportunity, and incredible diversity. Uh, thank you for joining us tonight. My name is George Martinez. Been here with my wife, Clara Guerrero Martinez, and uh, we have two children in the school district, as most folks know, and uh, we are working every day to continue to bring people together and move Anchorage forward. Thank you for being with us tonight. Thank you for joining the campaign. Thank you for your support. Clara, do you want to say anything to everybody? Um, just thank you for your support, for your donations. Um, this has truly been a fantastic night, and I'm just so excited for my husband and so proud of him. Well, <laughs> I'm proud of my family. I'm proud of my wife. And uh, this is the battery pack. 
uh, that keeps me going energetically. Uh, as folks said, I got a lot of energy. That's true. But I have a family support network that inspires me to continue to work because I know that the future of my family is dependent on the future of this city. And this is a great city for all of us. Yes, and we're yes. going to continue to push and move Anchorage forward by rolling right. our sleeves up and working together. Everyone's invited to come on and work together, visit the website, donate your time, donate those resources, and let's continue to move on. Uh, Don, I'm going to pass it over to you uh, for, for, for some closing remarks, some additional shout outs, and, uh, and to make sure we send it on to Kill Bill. I also want to thank everyone, all of our artists for performing. Thank you all for, for performing. And, uh, and, and yes, uh, Cal Williams, I got that. Uh, Cal Williams is going to be helping to deliver yard signs. And so make sure that uh, you send in your, your request. You can also, your donation and your, uh, your uh, offer to volunteer, let us know. And uh, thank you, Cal. Uh, thank you, Cal. Absolutely. And thank you, everyone else. We're going to, as the music plays, we're going to try to put some of these red carpet photos. We had a lot of beautiful and wonderful photos of people who whose names were on the tickers before. And we're going to try to populate them here. But we're also going to continue to bring all of this to our website. And we want to share uh, with everyone who wasn't here tonight the joy of what we accomplished this evening. And so continue to push this out so people can see the recording. And I'll pass it over to Don. Thank you, everybody. Have a great night and be safe. Thank you. Thank you much, George. And uh, First Lady Martinez right there. How you like that, First Lady oh. Martinez? Uh, we're going to claim it. That's what we're going to do. And uh, I just want to say thank you in advance to everyone that uh, has given a donation. Thank you in advance to everyone that plans to give a donation, that plans to give a little bit of time. Uh, and all we want at this point is a whole lot of love. Whether you can give that time, whether you can give that donation, please give us your positive vibrations so we can move forward. Thank you for being a part of Forward, the virtual gala to get uh, Mr. George Martinez into the mayorship office. So George 2021 as mayor is George2021.com. As we move on forward and through on our nights, uh, we want to bring back uh, our very good friend, one of our favorite performers that has uh, he's done a heck of a job the entire evening. He kicked off the gala with a wonderful performance and it'd be in fitting duty of him to finish it off. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have a blessed evening. My name's Dar Mega as we give you the one and only Mr. Kill Bill Sachs. Thank you for coming out. God bless you. Good night. The music shall play. The ticker tape shall go. And we're going to give so much love to everyone that took the time to donate their funds, to donate their time. And please continue to donate those vibrations because they're free. Let's move forward. Thank you for coming out. God bless you. Good night.
Thank you guys again so much. Thanks so much to George Martinez for having me be a part of this amazing event and all the amazing performers. I was just blown away. I got more music for you guys. Uh, I'll play another couple more. And George, you feel free to, to, to fade it out. And I wanted to apologize to Don Mega. I am sorry for playing over the top of you. I was so excited. I'm having so much fun. Guys, thanks again so much. If we're good, yeah, keep 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 on rocking keep and have a good time. Yeah. I need a hey, every superhero need a background song. Okay. I, I was like, oh, oh no, he's he's talking. Oh no, it's too late. You already started the song. Thank you.
Thanks, everybody, who's still hanging out with me. I'm having a great time. I'm going to keep it rolling. And until George decides to kill the broadcast, feel free to hang out with me. Yeah, you, you, yes, uh, you definitely. Uh, let's. This will be the last one, and we'll just throw the, the screen on, and we'll wind it out. Thank you, Bill. All right. Again, George Martinez, everybody for mayor. He's got my vote. He's a he's he's a good man, and uh, I believe in his vision. And I'm very uh, pleased to be a part of this event. So this is my last song again. And thanks everybody who. Uh, this is what, a, what an amazing evening this has been. And hats off to all the amazing performers that I witnessed this evening. A lot of talent here. So thanks again.